Hi, uh, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wise and answering a question submitted by a student. Uh, this is a fairly straightforward Sokotoa word problem, and uh, it really shouldn't give you that much trouble. You have to just uh, draw a picture, draw a sketch of what's going on, and then everything becomes straightforward. Um, so we have a tower. I'm going to just draw that. That's our tower. And a, a wire is attached to the top of the tower. And then uh, it's stretched all the way down to the ground. So you can see we're forming a right triangle here. So here's your wire. And the wire touches the ground 803 feet from the base. And the length of the wire is uh, 1659 feet. And they want the angle the wire makes with the ground. This is called the angle of elevation, so it has a formal name. The reason, uh, the way I remember uh, this phrase is I imagine myself looking straight ahead, so you'd be below ground a bit, <laughs> but you want your eye to be level with the ground. And then if you wanted to look at the top of the tower, you would your head would have to swivel upward and so this is the upward swivel of your head that's called the angle of elevation that's the way i remember it because you have to elevate your head to see so that's just a little trick that might help you remember the vocabulary here but the math is pretty straightforward we just want to know uh, this angle We'll call it X. So when you consider Sokotoa, we want to pick either sine, cosine, or tangent. And um, in this case, we're given, if you consider this to be the angle of interest, X here, we're given the adjacent and the hypotenuse, so it's going to be cosine. You can see because we, we, it's going to involve the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, so the cosine of x is going to be 803 over 1659, and then we're just going to take the inverse cosine of each side. So it gives us x equals inverse cosine of 803 over 1659. They don't specify whether they want this angle in degrees or radians. I'm just going to do it in degrees. Get on my calculator, find the inverse cosine of 803 divided by 1659, and that's giving me 61.05. They don't tell us. They don't give us a rounding instruction, so I'm just going to round it to the nearest hundredth. And um, that's it, 61 degrees. So fairly easy. Just make sure you, you have your Sokotoa. Write it out the way I did so that you're less likely to make a mistake. And uh, just be careful with it. And you'll, you'll find that this is fairly easy. You're going to have more complicated problems than this when you're taking uh, pre-calculus. You're just getting started with these word problems now. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.